Live from Shadowmere Studios, it's Talkie Box. Do not use while operating heavy machinery. I don't know, that's sound advice. You're all right. I don't know. I feel like, <laughs> depending on the on the platform... Unless it's a def- car. Yeah, uh, well... Or a truck. Or like a tractor. Hmm. Yeah, don't use it while you're doing any of that. Or like a... Because uh, if you're if you're doing that, if you're watch if listening to the show or watching the show while you're while you're driving, any kind of heavy machinery, you're probably going to kill yourself and someone well, else. I would say watching, yeah, but listening, listen away. We're now on iTunes. Now we're way too funny for that. Like you will laugh yourself to death. Oh my goodness! If you're driving, you're really cutting down on the time that they can listen to. All the right, show. do it whenever you want. I don't give a All shit. All right. Well, now that we've settled that, <laughs> <laughs> I will say I will admit um, I have watched Netflix on the road before I'm who driving. are you how'd you get in here i'm joey that's that's who i am oh, Hi. Joey. hello Welcome. hello new people that's I'm, this is I'm jason. Very rude. yeah that's jason. jason there i'm jason justin here over here hello wait with this, this yeah, a, you should say your name that's a yeah, J i'm theme. justin right here yeah hi and then dave we the got host. a serious j theme going on yep, yep. I'm, and you i'm, I'm jave <laughs> jave jave yeah. <clears throat> yeah so yeah just like uh it. but yep. justin and J- jason, jason been here joey. for the whole time yep. joey newcomer uh, right. As we typically do with newcomers, tell us everything about yourself ever. But well, sum it up. <clears throat> yeah, sum uh, it up. But sum like, up my see life. if you can take up yeah, the well, most part of the show <clears throat> that you can. Okay. Um, well, I'm a sophomore at UNG, uh-huh. which is you know boring in itself because almost everyone in North Georgia is. Um, which is what UNG stands for, University of North Georgia. Yes. Okay. Right. All right. Keep going. Um, I'm a journalism major, mm. and this is the first time I've been on a podcast ever. Ooh. Yeah, me too. Right. Yeah. Well, this is, they're beefing up your resume. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Write that down. They can definitely right reference this later. Right. You'll yeah, definitely they'll, they'll come back to, to this exact podcast and they'll judge my uh, writing skills mm-hmm. on this. Correct. Yep. 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 Like, well, I mean, I, mean, I want, assume we'll, you've we'll prepared. We'll send a letter of recommendation. Okay. Depending on how this goes. Yeah. Right. I assume that you've prepared. I mean, thoroughly. currently you're doing a, uh, an expose on oh, right. yourself. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Just call me the Hannibal Burris of my own life. I will not do that. We refuse. No. Not a one of us. All right. All There's right. Some... Um, so, <laughs> besides your uh, your collegiate, uh, you know, thing that you're doing, uh, what do you what do you what do you want for the future? What, what do I you, want for the future? What are you striving for. What do you? What what's that thing that you're? What's your goal? What's that thing that Jason keeps reaching for? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> well, <laughs> tell me. Tell me what is there. this? It's hopefully to be a technology journalist. Write about technology. Write right. about phones and uh, computers, nice. things like that. So. One day, like one day, it. Justin's going to read your stuff. <clears throat> oh, I'll yep. read and, and all report of it. it here on Talking Box. <laughs> that's <Yes. laughs> correct. Yeah, so we'll come here weekly and just. That's good. Read so that's when we do stuff. this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Once a week. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So well, then I'll, just, I'll just listen intently then. Okay. <laughs> I thought you just recorded this all week and it just happened to be the same day as when the good shows happen. Yeah. Yep. We, oh, okay. just, we mm-hmm. just post the good ones. Yeah. Right. It's a big editing job, <laughs> it's like a Big Brother house. Uh, we actually just sit at this table for an entire week. Yep. Wow. Uh, and then we just we just take all the good stuff and compress it down into a single I'm hour. Surprised so every every day, we, every day we call it the next episode. Yeah. And we just reference that, knowing that we're only going to pick one of them. Right. I'm surprised NBC hadn't picked you up for this fall. Right. We are too. Yeah. Got snubbed. It blows yeah. our mind. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So so if you weren't guilted yet. <laughs> NBC. Go ahead. Um, That's right. So, aside from, from your journalism situation, uh, you work in a restaurant. Yes. We're not going to say which one. Nope. nope. Um, Secret. But what else do you do outside of uh, school and work? Um, <clears throat> well, I sing a lot, mm-hmm. uh, you know, mostly in the shower and radio now, but, you know, besides that. In the radio? In the radio, yeah. Oh, Directly shit. into it. Right. <laughs> I scream at the radio really Are you loudly. A, a fan of karaoke? Yes. I actually... Uh, did karaoke while I was in Nashville. That's like my main music gig when I was in Nashville for the six months. I would go up and sing in karaoke bars. So you yes. grew up in Nashville for a while. Yes, working. I lived in Nashville for six months. Yeah. Worked you, at Amazon. Okay. Um, it was the fittest I was ever in my life because working at Amazon in the factories, I will tell you, is the worst job you can ever have. Really? No. Oh. Worst job. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do mm-hmm. tell. S- Steve Rowe would, <clears throat> would argue that. Yeah. Well, I've seen some jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. So... So when I first got up there, like all the perks seemed great, you know, it's like, oh, you're working for Amazon. Oh, you're going to get discounts on Amazon Prime and all this stuff. And, oh, you know, you're you might meet Jeff Bezos one day and all this stuff. I don't know and so who that is. It's the uh, CEO and founder of Amazon. Did you meet him? No. Those liars. They yeah. lied to you. So, so you walk in for your first day and you're greeted like it's prison. 
<laughs> you walk in, there's turnstiles. You have to turn off your phone. You have to take off your keys and everything else, and you have to put it in a little bin. And then they don't tell you where that little bin goes. But, but, they, assign, but they, they, they assign it to your name. in that shit. Mm-hmm. They assign it to your name. Yeah. Now, you cannot have... Speaking of phone, that silence mine. You got you to gotta put a little <laughs> non-disclosure drop of blood into yep. a vial. Right. And so We're not sponsored by Amazon. No, not at all. Not. By the way. Who could easily sponsor us? I hope I was us. try try not to say anything really bad because we'd love to get them to sponsor. They could okay. very easily great. sponsor us. Yeah, yeah, no, Jeff Bezos is great. <laughs> they, um, could, they could just dust dandruff off of their bank accounts and sponsor Talkie Box for our entire lives. He that, could. That's yeah, how I really, I really want <laughs> right. my bank account to get dandruff if that's the way that works. Amazon Man. dandruff is good. I'm just going to stop <laughs> shampooing my bank account. It's good stuff. Yeah. A yeah. drone will bring it to yeah, you. Yeah, the conditioner oh. is, is what does it. It kills it. So, so uh, they gave you a jumpsuit and a number. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't quite that bad. Um, you got to, you know, you got to wear what you want, whatever. Uh, but you no shivs though, right? Yeah. And so, but you couldn't wear like a watch. You couldn't wear anything that Amazon sells. You could not wear any like accessories or Amazon anything. Sells that Amazon sells everything, including the clothes that I wear. Right, which is makes it kind of difficult. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, but you couldn't like wear a watch. I couldn't. I wanted to wear a Fitbit. They wouldn't let me wear a Fitbit. Um, all these things, but I. Um, Somehow got them to can uh, let me wear a Fitbit because um, I bought it and I had to like show them a receipt to like four different departments and all this thing, <laughs> and um, but you literally run about sixteen miles a day and I was working twelve hour shifts. I was working oh, from yeah. seven p.m. to seven a.m. and I was what is known as a picker. And those of you that have ever been in a factory, you just run around and you pick up shit and put it in a box and take it to a conveyor belt for twelve hours. And it goes somewhere. And it goes somewhere and then it ends up at your front door. So now, all- see, I've always wondered like. If these pickers like just play little jokes and have some fun, uh, just because a few weeks ago I ordered some cinnamon raisin bagels and I got a forty-two inch dog crate instead, <laughs> but it had the number. The it, number was it right. It said it was right. Did that really happen? That really you happened. Didn't tell me about that. No, I yes, that, that really great. happened. I ordered groceries uh-huh. and everything that I ordered showed up except for my cinnamon raisin bagels. And while I'm bringing in all the stuff. The Amazon driver just has this giant box on his back, <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell did I order? I pull out my phone. I'm like, your orders. What the hell? Uh, all right. It, thank you. You have a good day. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> and it was a 42-inch dog crate. I searched all my groceries, never got my cinnamon raisin bagels. So my thought was, somebody's playing a joke I think the in driver, my favor. I think the driver has a vendetta out for you because I n- never did such a thing. Now, now it just might be my moral compass. But it might be. I, I think it's Now, granted, I felt like I came out in the, in, in the winnings there because I could you know, a 42 say something. Yeah, 42, like, yeah, that's dog gonna, crate that's is a lot more expensive. That's going to worth more yeah. than a, than a bag of cinnamon yeah. bagels. But it's probably not the... the Picker's fault or the driver's fault is probably the guy that puts like the labels on the stuff in the warehouse that just mislabeled a box. The picker just runs, grabs a number, like this number, right. that number, it got it. It seems too funny. There's because literally... I can't even imagine that those are next to each other in the alphabet. So I don't <laughs> know. Or like, like all right. But a lot of cinnamon time, raisin, uh, UPS or SKUs uh, or whatever they're called, SKUs, UPS, yeah, SKUs. whatever they're called. Mm. Generally, it's the way that they order them from their whoever makes them or whatever right, right. it's not like no, the I, numbers are 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 sequ- sequitur or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. sequential sequential sequitur yes. i think that's a word it's sequitur a word. is not a word. the right word well your mom's not the right word either but i <laughs> used it that's yeah. true right. just now let's move on there it is <laughs> so but i will tell you there is literally no time to be able to make a decision like that <laughs> when you're in there because it go, go you get this go. little gun no literally you get this little gun and it tells you uh, it's like a telzon so it's not like a gun gun so for you know um, you're not running around shooting things it's and a um, gun? yeah it's, it's a scanning gun, gun. Yeah. it's a telzon and it has a little bang, timer bang, bang. up top and that timer gu- guides your performance and if you aren't performing up to standards mm-hmm. they can cut your pay they can fire you without warning just goodbye go home you're not fast enough right Get the hell out of here. And so you're basically, you're not allowed to run, but you're running through these, you know. How are you not allowed to run? Safety. It's a safety hazard. There's no air conditioning. There's no heat in these buildings, <laughs> mind you. At least the one where I was working at, there yeah. was not. Um, and so in the wintertime, it was cold, but you were running so much it didn't feel cold. Yeah. And um, that's really the only time I worked there because I quit because it was just awful. Yeah. Um, only Sounds perk, great. Only perk is you didn't have to call out of work. You just didn't show up. Really? And they just marked you absent. Oh. Yeah. 
So, because I mean, there was so many people there, they couldn't keep track of you know, oh, so and so called out. Right. So you worked your shift, or you didn't show up, and you had a certain amount of time. And if you didn't show up, then you know, all of a sudden, you're just cut from your job, and you're done. So if and you're so, absent, it's automatically. Well, no. If you, I mean, you have a certain amount of days, so it's oh. like you have a certain amount, and you could like list it as paid time off. You could list it as unpaid time off. Mm. And so what I did, instead of telling them I'm quitting, I just used all my paid time off days, and then used all my unpaid off time days, and didn't ever go back. <laughs> So, so technically, I never left Amazon. You still work there. I still work there. Unless they've terminated you from their systems. Right, but I never received an email, so I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah. They're probably like, I haven't seen that Joey guy in a while. Yeah. What are he's doing? He? He's probably up on the fifth floor, running. Yep. <laughs> running. And yeah, running. it's literally like a huge Walmart. Just no elevators, though. It's all stairs. It's all stairs. Really? All stairs, yeah. You, would take the, you should take the conveyor belt down. <laughs> Yeah. There's a lot of things you I just couldn't do this, in there. The, you've told me about this before, and the right. image I have in my head is just this giant square building and like just many floors of stuff, and mm-hmm. then in one corner is a conveyor belt that just goes through like this hole, and that's where you put your stuff, and then like who knows where it goes. Like see, it's just off into the ether. See, I, right. I, I hear this, and I just, for some reason, I'm getting some like mixed images of the warehouse. Part of it looks like an Ikea to me, <laughs> but I just can't shake the song in my head. <laughs> just all of these conveyor belts just running every which direction. People putting Does anyone else know there? what song he's talking about? No? Mm-mm. Looney Tunes? Oh. I kind of, he, he did a, Really piss poor job of representing it, but no. it's, it's like that busy kind of song, like the industrial, like when a bunch of things are real busy on the screen. I will okay. be validated on Facebook. I just know this. All right, well, sure you will. Well, I will be that's that's definitely not gonna happen because <laughs> yeah. that's that's where people go for validation, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Right. It's Facebook. Exactly. That's where everything is real and true, and nothing is yeah. wrong. Yeah. All the comments will say, "I know exactly what Justin was talking about yeah. just now." Bum, ba, ba, da, da. No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a piss poor representation. Yeah, I was making bum, fun bum, of you. Bum, 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 no, like you're doing a bad James Bond theme. Or nope, like. that's not it. You didn't watch enough cartoons. If you're listening in your car and you want to pause to you know wait for singing, just wait about twenty seconds and it'll be over. <laughs> yeah, we're really sorry about this. <laughs> No, we're not. This was not scripted. <sighs> Justin did not say he was going to just start making up random no, scat. He didn't run that. Ba-doo, 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 da, da. You guys remember that from Badabadoo Badoo Boo? You do remember. That's, that's on, uh, you know. You all remember. Foghorn Leghorn did that stick. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> he did, boy. I tell you, son. Uh, Good stuff. You must have some... the Speedy Gonzalez version? <laughs> <laughs> so you went up to Nash Vegas. You worked for Amazon. You right. may still work for him. You came yeah, back knows? here. Yep. And um, and you're gonna be a journalist. Yeah. And you you've got a, a foot in the door here at Talkie Box. Right. Right. All right cool. Yeah. Yeah. cool. You're yeah. welcome, by the way. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Twenty four hours ago, I had no idea. It was lots of clout. Lots of clout comes there from is. this this right. table. And it's for a small fee, you could also get a bumper sticker. Uh-huh. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. Those bumper stickers. Though. Have we? I don't think we talked about those on the air. Actually, <laughs> have we not? On the air. Why? <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> on the cables. <laughs> Live, uh, but yeah, yeah, we have we have bumper stickers you can we buy do. from us. Uh, it helps it helps greatly if you actually know us in person. Um, Much easier to yeah, get. Yeah, three dollars a piece. Uh, Plus if you, postage and shipping. Yeah, if you right. subscribe to our YouTube channel and can prove it to us, two dollars a piece, and uh, or it takes a dollar off, whatever. Mm. Uh, and if you let one of us put it on your car for you, it takes another dollar off. Yeah. Right? yeah. So yeah. Now, I've actually told this to people, but everybody keeps giving me more money than I ask for. That's fine. Which is it's weird called, to thank me. You. It's called donations. It's, it is, yeah. I think. Or maybe, you know, like, ah, I don't feel like making change for this. Here, <laughs> get away from me, <laughs> panhandler. I will say. You smell. No, I really didn't. No, Just please I, leave. Yeah. <laughs> I will say at the place that I work that is to not be named, uh-huh. um, I had a guest one time come up to me with a $5 bill to mm-hmm. give me their tip for me and I was like oh thank you and they said oh wait do you have two dollars and change and I was like you have got to be shitting me right now it was insane yeah Yeah. I've had that happen on multiple occasions when I was been waiting tables uh where someone was like you got change for 20 I'm like nope you're my first table today like oh um all right here's two bucks like fuck you man (laughs) yeah well no the the fact that he had the audacity to ask me for change to give me less money than a five dollar bill I was like wow it's like all right 
You got balls, man. Did he hand you the five first? He handed me the five, uh, and I had it in my hand. Just be like, thanks. He turned around and left. So. Oh, yeah. sir, do you have? I'm sorry. Who are you? Yeah. <laughs> Say like, your name for the audience. I like to do the uh, the slow roll in a situation like that to try and like create an awkwardness mm -hmm. that I can like sort of focus and put onto them. So like just to make it like, oh, I'm <laughs> gonna take up two dollars <laughs> worth of your time yeah. in the spectacle that I'm gonna create oh, for where, you. Where did and I put on, my and then money? You, you pulled out like <laughs> seventeen cents and you count it out real slow and you're like, no, I've got I've got the change. <laughs> I do, and you start feeling places where there's no pockets, like just right. like um, uh, asking you know, to hold something. Like here, hold yeah. this pen. You know, uh, you could, uh, here, let me just take my apron off and <laughs> just uh, thank you. <laughs> and eventually, you're gonna get that money. Well, you know what? Just, Never mind. You know, what? just yeah. just keep it. Like, yeah. it looks like you got something to work out here. Well, thank you. <laughs> I That's appreciate very it. Very kind um, of you. I'll just get it from you next time. I'll just put right. my shirt back um, on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> button that back up. <laughs> it's when a bag of quarters will come in handy or pennies. Just you know, start giving oh, yeah. them change. I used to uh, for for the longest time at at the place that we work. I used to be able to at the end of my shift give my change to the cashier for real money, and and then they decided that the cashiers were idiots and didn't know how to count stuff and right. and that they can't do that anymore. So I still I, I still get have it. all this change for in my money. pocket, yeah. and like for. A long time, I had just like change everywhere. Yeah, ones of dollars in pennies, ones of dollars, ones of dollars. Right. Mm -hmm. See, now I used to have the hardest time holding on to my change. You know, a lot of people will use like an actual piggy bank or like a liquor bottle or something like that, where they just plop their change in there. And I was always terrible about it because I I, I couldn't really tell you a legitimate reason. I was just terrible You're about just it. Bad. I was just bad at yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, but then I got a. Uh, I went to like a one of those department stores, those secondhand department stores, like a Kohl's or a, okay. like a Ross or, or, something. A Ross or yeah. something, and I got one of those decorative treasure chests. You see it there in his hands. Okay. Yeah. It's a right. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you're listening in your car video, right now. That's fine. Yeah, they can see it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a treasure chest. It's a treasure chest uh -huh. about this big. And I just- By yay? It, yeah. About <laughs> like, right there. Yeah. And I just leave it by my front door, so yeah. whenever I come in, I empty out my pockets and I just toss it in there. Yeah. It's much e much easier, much more casual, right. Right. and it makes a very gratifying clink, clink sound mm. when the change actually lands yeah. in there. And as it starts to fill up, I'm really looking forward to uh, me pretending like it's actually gold. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking forward me. to counting all of it? I've counted it before. Right now, I'm at like just over 110 in change. Wow. Just yeah. because I, I toss everything in there. Yeah. Just everything. I always found it funny that you see, you see, the, you know, the treasure chests in movies and stuff, pirate movies. And, right. And they're always like overflowing. It's unrealistic. With, like, why wouldn't you just get another chest or something to put that shit in? It's right? very yeah. heavy. Like, <laughs> it's it's like not even halfway full and it's already pretty heavy. It's like okay. pirates were just too and lazy to build big. another chest. Yeah. It's yeah. like only that big. It's right. always like spilling out in right. the yeah. ocean and stuff. Like, they just. Uh, you're like, losing they're money. They're more right now. careful. They're, they're, they're cursing people on the ocean. There's like mm -hmm. thousands dead for this treasure. <laughs> but nobody gave enough of a shit to like actually contain it. Right. right. The ocean is slowly taking the gold well, back. Well, somebody grab some burlap sack so we can draw a dollar sign on <laughs> yeah, or right? something. Like, damn it. Right. We're losing Where's cash. Where's this cast iron safe that we, you know, we've all been hearing about? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Seems very uh, irresponsible. Yeah. yeah. Just, just for the dramatic effect of like, ooh, you right. know. We have Look so much money we can't hold coins. it. There's always... I, we talk about these things all the time. And I'm like, one day I'm going to make a movie, and we're going to fix all these problems that we see in these movies. And then I realize it's going to be a boring ass movie. Yeah, yeah. this is the most boring movie, movie ever. Yeah, here's my treasure chest full of things. Uh, can we open it? Fuck no, man. There's no, no, it's closed. Like a whole I got, bunch a, of shit I got a, a safe. Like it's a time <laughs> lock thing. Like uh, we don't have time for that. Uh -uh. Like, do you know? Have, like, do you have any idea? The plot. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of treasure in here. Like. <laughs> I'll just go just, showing that off. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you're more likely to take it. You know how many locks I have on this thing? <laughs> it's going to take me 45 minutes just to show you what's inside. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then the next 45 minutes is you just unlocking the box. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, what, what is my mom's birthday? A friend of mine has a hamburger, a ceramic hamburger. Ah. For all of their change? For their change. I thought you were just talking about like a seven-year-old Big Mac. My friend has a hamburger. Yeah, I thought it, uh, subject change. <laughs> <laughs> my friend has a hamburger. 
guys. That's great, Jason. Yes. <laughs> Ketchup. Awesome. Ketchup is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, uh, my friend's got a ceramic <laughs> hamburger that she yeah. keeps her change in, and I saw it uh, when I went out to Charleston this weekend. Uh-huh. It was pretty cool. Uh, not the Charleston, not the the hamburger was. Eh. Yeah. It was all right, yeah. you know, <laughs> nothing to write. Got change in it. Yeah, just had to change it. it. I didn't even get to count it. She wouldn't let me in it. Uh, mm. uh, but it was a great visit. Yeah. Got to the beach. Got some sand between my toes. Mm. Gross. You know. Sand your butt crack. Uh yes. Yeah, of course. I mean it's. It's, yeah, the it's beach everywhere, man. It's you sand. You can't do anything about it. Uh, you know, got out in the ocean. Mm. It was nice. Played a little frisbee. Yeah. Frisbee well, by Waymo. It was Ooh. a frisbee by Waymo. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, if wait. it's not by Waymo, it's not really a frisbee. No. Right. They, it's probably trademarked. Frisbee is trademarked as is Waymo. Yep. yep. Right. Be a sponsor. Yeah. And you can get them at Amazon. Summer fun. <laughs> <laughs> Could you Summer. imagine Dave reading ads? Yeah. I could do that. Yeah, let's do it. Just, just if you like to throw <laughs> something that's shaped like a plate at your friend's face and hope that he catches it, or maybe you don't want him to catch it, try Frisbee by Wemo. Trademark. Trademark. Um, that's exactly how I'm going to read ads if that ever comes to yep. me. Oh, I, yeah. That's, I hope not. That's, that's perfect. amazing. We're going to get tons of sponsors. <laughs> yeah. Just like, why does he make everything we sell? Sounds Sound like he's so a douchebag because he's a fucking douchebag. <laughs> Cut him. Yep. You, Mentos. You Pe- paid us for this. <laughs> the <Pe-Pe> maker. <laughs> that makes it really fresh. Super Your fresh. mouth will be so great. God, man. <laughs> man, we're, 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 we're losing money right now. You corporate sponsor teams just out there. By just imagine the money. money that you're going to rake in from this. Yeah. I am. It's all a matter. <laughs> it's yeah. all a matter. It's all in the plan. It just, it just depends on how much it spends, you know? Yeah. I mean, people do like weird characters and stuff you know we've all seen the crazy super bowl commercials and stuff yeah, i think yeah, we've yeah. talked about it on an episode prior and so you know there's there's plenty of room out there for you to just be a spaz <laughs> and get paid for it you want fist me <laughs> buy <a> frisbee! <laughs> Someone will buy a frisbee from that guy. Uh, yep, and I gotta get a frisbee. Don't yeah. worry, guys, we're not approaching. That's gonna be a catchphrase at all. <laughs> what? No, no. Only, That's... only if you're thinking offensive thoughts. That's what I just said. Cause yeah, because you're racist. Offensive. <laughs> See? Yeah. Everybody agrees. You heard it here first. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Live from talking about <laughs> Justin's racist. If you were sitting in your car and you're offended about the Frisbee talk, then you can comment on the YouTube. Yeah. After yeah. The YouTube. Subscribe. Yeah. Subscribe, <laughs> subscribe and then comment. And subscribe and comment while you're driving. Yes. <laughs> You've got to do all of it at once. Yeah. Otherwise, it doesn't count. So what's your favorite right. thing to throw on the beach? Uh, Sand. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're a dick. <laughs> you're mean. Oh, man. You're mean to people. No, uh, no, the football. Actually. Football. Oh, yeah. Football. Fun. Okay, yeah. That's yeah. very American. Yeah. We, uh, we went down to the beach. The, we brought we threw a football beach <laughs> a long time ago. We, it was it was a nerfy football. It was a nerfy football. We did throw a nerfy football. Yeah. Showing off for the, for the ladies ago. on the beach. Yeah. They were not impressed. They, they were so at all. unimpressed. Yeah, they can you can throw a nerfy football fifty feet. They they were oh, yeah. happy that yeah. we were out there entertaining ourselves rather than like next to them bothering them. Trying yeah, to talk like right. <laughs> hey, am I blocking your shade? You are, yeah. actually. <laughs> Could you please move? You just, yeah, I'm out here for a reason and it ain't you. Yep. I get it, but it ain't gonna stop me. Yeah. For, you know, I'm coded. <laughs> <laughs> it's about convincing them that that's what they are actually there right. for. Now, yeah. after they say "fuck off," I will. You oh, know, because there off. are so many that I've got like hours to fill. Like, and if I just wait in one sandy spot long enough, another beautiful man. Will, I mean, another person will walk by. <laughs> I can't help but just like watch him drawing on this iPad Pro. It's you got awesome. you you gotta you gotta not focus on. I know that. Yeah. it's hard. He gets detailed. <laughs> like it makes me want to go out and spend obscene amounts of money on an iPad Pro and a pencil that I do not need. It's cor- it's correct. You don't need them, Mm-mm. but right. you want them. Apparently, they are fun. Speaking of things you don't need, Apple had a conference today. Yep. And speaking of things yeah. they don't need, any of our money. Right. <laughs> Any more than they yeah. already have. Yeah, As I said they, before, a bunch of rich people talking about things for other rich people. Isn't the, it grand? They released uh, an Amazon Echo, just so you know. Is it, it's for Apple? Right. Well, I mean, it's it's a it's a clone. Yeah. And it runs Siri, so it, it's, it's bad. It sucks. Yeah. Apparently, I don't know. It's not going to listen very well. Right. It's going to be like a, an actual kid. But once again, Apple, if you want to sponsor, 
you know, I'm not, if, I'm not a part of this sponsor, podcast. Hey, man, but that's great. That's fantastic, and we want eight of them. Tim Cook, yeah. I don't know who that is. CEO of Apple. I'm here to educate. Thanks. <laughs> that's a very uh, I've tried small name. Tim Cook. Tim, Tim Cook. Cook. Yeah. Tim Cook. Like I feel like there's a, a million. Steve Tim Jobs Cooks. wasn't really big either. Right. Yeah. It no, was Steve Jobs. But yeah. Jobs, I think I'm pretty sure he's the only Jobs on Earth. Like I've never met another Jobs. I've met other Cooks. <laughs> I mean, you gotta think like Bill Gates. It's all in two syllables. It's done. That's true. Yeah. There's a thing about that. It's just successfulness comes from two syllables. Ah, uh, yeah. Dave, Mon- damn it. <laughs> <coughs> hmm. Justin. No. <laughs> There's a last name that has to come after yep. that. Yeah, it's ten. <sighs> oh, just ten. Ten. Yep. Yeah. Just ten. Yeah, just ten. Just just canisters for cookies. So did they come out with anything <laughs> new and great besides mock, Bes- besides the Echo? Of, besides um, a mock up of someone else's creation? They, they, you, you mean like the entire world things they already had. Right. They, well, I mean it was mostly software. Um WWDC, which is the world worldwide developers conference. Mm-hmm. Say that three times fast. Nope. Um it's basically it's a software event. They update all the software. They release a couple new hardware things, but most of the stuff comes in the fall. Um as far as the iPhone event goes, which that's a whole nother world. Ooh, um, I can't wait. I know. That, it's exciting. I'm, I'm very excited. Quick tangent. That is one of my favorite phrases ever in, in English. A whole nother. A whole nother. It's a whole it's nother like, one. Another is one word. And you split it up and put another word in it. <laughs> a, a whole, whole nother, nother word. A whole nother word. It's not another. Another right. another seems too closely related. Yeah. Right. Like another it's is another thing. No, it's a whole, a whole nother. nother thing. Right. Yeah. It's not significant enough. Because like, another you, is not a word. Right. You skip one another and go to the next one. Oh. That's how much of another thing it is. It's a whole nother. <laughs> right. You you could barely contain yourself with Queen or something. I'm just I want to make sure you're clear. <laughs> So yeah, it was mostly software. They focused really on heavily on Siri, right. which I don't think is going to help at all. But I think it was really just a push for the speaker. Um, they made a smaller iPad with thinner bezels because that's what the iPhone is going to look like in the fall. Um, sorry for all you people, it's going to be all screen. It's not going to be all screen. It's going to be smaller bezels. That's all it is. We'll see. I I, I just don't see it happening. Um, I've and... seen some leaks. Yes. <laughs> yes. You have seen some leaks. I there think everyone leaks. has. Um. They release no idea what we're talking about right now. They Leaks release new updates, day. new software cool. stuff, and okay. yeah, that's it. So it was, right. it was a boring conference. Ah, frisbees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's me. That's me and Dave. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's our end. Yeah. That's the tech that we like. <laughs> <laughs> the frisbee tech. Yeah. yeah. It's not only a delicious pie. It's a toy. Oh I, boy. I broke it. I'm just gonna not <laughs> use it. Speaking you, of spinny things, you should probably use it. My uh, my friend found a fidget spinner that is LED, lights up, and has Bluetooth capabilities. Plays music. It surprises me not at all. Oh my yeah. god! Like we were it talking was... just a couple weeks ago about like fidget spinner. Yeah, Justin yep. went and got himself his own, his own spinner. Is that now? Is that a legit fidget spinner or is that some other brand? It it's there. I is, a, is there a brand <laughs> named Fidget Spinner? I, I, I believe I there don't is. No, this it spins uh. in a fidgety type way. <laughs> Um, so that's what I call it. I think it's meant to I, I not help you. It's meant last, to have you not fidget. I watched our last no, episode to today, <laughs> uh, and I couldn't help but notice he was fidget spinning the whole stinking episode. <laughs> <laughs> you watch me fidget spin? Yeah, just over here like... Bzz, I think that comes bzz, after the second date. Bzz. But you can't really see the spinner because of the dark background, so right. it just looks like he's just making weird... <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how well that translates. Yeah. Was it really exciting? I noticed it at all. <laughs> I mean, you know, I me, was doing I... it mainly under the table. Oh. It was mainly under the table. I certainly noticed it. Hmm. Yeah, so. that's right. because he's looking for stuff. Looking yeah. for stuff. Looking for stuff. Easter eggs. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to start the Easter egg scavenger hunt early. I was trying to tell someone about uh, Talking Box Olympics. Um, and I forgot like almost everything that we talked about that we're going to be in. I remember there was there was a uh, funnel Rita, there was Shaven Way, there was Dunking Booth, mm-hmm. and um, uh, bobbing for kittens. Bobbing for kittens. I forgot about that one. Bacon eating. <laughs> this is me. You were talking to. And, I talked to a few people. And oh, kickball. Okay. Kickball. I remembered. 
Yeah, so it was, uh, what I have is funnel arita. Funnel arita. Bobbing for kittens. Oh, kittens yeah. Bacon eating. Uh-huh. Easter egg scavenger hunt. Yeah. Kickball. Donkey booth and shavened way. That's a lot of that's a lot of events that we got going on. That's a lot of events. I'm really mm-hmm. looking forward to watch Jason Bob for a kitten. <laughs> <laughs> the idea of that excites me. I don't know why. Are I just you, want to see it. You know you're in the event. I don't understand why. I mean, this is not a. An... <laughs> Pretty much everything is a head-to-head thing. Like it's not, it's not like take turns. It's like it's all head-to-head. So like when he's bobbing for kittens, you'll also be bobbing for kittens. You don't have time to watch him do it. Yeah. I'll find time. <laughs> <laughs> You'll just have to watch the video. Justin will be so good, he'll be done and still up, watching can, for can Jason. In your mouth, you look up and see one just like laughs onto Jason's face. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. that's exactly what I want. <laughs> just running from camera to camera, just ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> this uh, cat flinging. Yeah, I like how you have this idea that we're gonna have two cameras, right? Which we'll see. I mean, at least that's how I, I did it. Just now. Right, um, yeah. It's going to be a year from now. We're going to have a crew, too, remember? Or or possibly <laughs> be married. I don't know. Yeah. I just watched the episode this morning, so I'm pretty fresh on what we talked about a week ago. Yeah, I've, I've heard <laughs> these episodes from my memory as soon as I watch it. In fact, it's gotten to the point where I'll be I'll be uploading the, the episodes and like trying to like put the description in there, and I'm sitting there like, what the hell did we talk about? Now I gotta watch it. Damn it! All right, fine. What do we? Oh yeah. So I just write down like, the first three things we say in the entire episode. <laughs> Shaven <it>. Wade. <laughs> Done. That's it. <laughs> That's my Dave. Yeah. You're incorrigible. Yeah. And then somebody tells me you know, how'd the show go. It was good. I think. I'm pretty I think. sure. I don't know. I haven't listened. <laughs> I mean, I was there. Yeah. But very passively. Right. <laughs> so what was your favorite beach trip? Favorite beach trip. I've only. Well, I, I've been to the beach a couple times, I guess. I've never been to Charleston, though, which I've been told by multiple people that it needs to happen. It's a great town. It's a great um, town. It smells a little bit like feet. Okay. Uh, you know, the same way that Brunswick does. It's that paper mill kind of thing yeah, that yeah. they All got right. or whatever. But And the water tastes like it's sand-filtered feet. <laughs> um, <laughs> because it's probably what it is. Yeah. Uh, but other than those things, I'm like, really hoping really the Tourism nice Bureau will sponsor us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Charleston. Visit charleston.com. We're really not feet. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't think I've ever really had a good experience at the beach. What? Not really? No. Really. That's terrible. Uh, the first time I went to the beach, I was little, and um, I'm not a great swimmer. I don't like swimming at all, which at the beach, I really don't see why you would want to do that anyhow. And I just, I'm just, Fair. it's just, you know, it's nasty. at the beach. It's, 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 it's nasty. And so, <laughs> so I walk, I, you know, I'm, I'm in the beach and I'm, you know, we're playing in the water or whatever. And I get stung by a jellyfish. Oh, and I've been there. And I just go berserk, you know, and my mom's trying to calm me down. To, to, and so the next day, you know, she's like, oh, you got to come back out. It's the last day here. So, you know, we're going to yeah. face your fears and you get out, you know. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that, you know. And um, I was like little then, so that's how I talked. Yeah, uh, that was, we get it. <laughs> that was not, that was that not was six months ago. ago. <laughs> that was, you know. No, mom, that's how I talked to my mom. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, so we walk back out there and I get stung again. Did you really? Yeah. And so and ever, s- you. ever since then, I've never been back into the water. One day you're gonna beach. come. I've home, just walked like, you're on gonna the sand. Be at home, and you're gonna hear this like this kind of wet, like knocking, like. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> about Open the door, and jellyfish like. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just like when we talked about the man of war or whatever, yeah. like mm-hmm. like jellyfish and and man of war, they they swarm. Mm-hmm. Like right. there's so if if you get stung by one, there's you're... a pretty good chance right. that they yeah, don't but, just go away. But it was a day later. Yeah, that, and it was a different part of the beach. That's the thing that got me. Oh, it was a different beach? It, no, it was just a different part of the beach. It was further down. Oh, we'll it was see. further down on a different day, though. Like, they right. shouldn't still be in the area. They, no, like, they, they tend to kind of move around. Right, it was, about, it was about 36 they're gonna, hours. They're going to hang out. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're, they're not like the turtles from Finding Nemo or whatever, where they're <laughs> constantly in this jet stream <laughs> chan- transition. Like, their, their movement speed is probably three, four miles an hour or something like that. They move with the tides. I mean, yeah. yeah. Oh, since I we're speaking, since we're speaking about Disney characters um, and back at Apple, they put Woody on uh, a watch face for the Apple Watch. There's so, a snake in my watch. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's a thing that happened today, and nerds got excited. It's I'm because sure Apple's gonna buy Disney. Yep, it's gonna happen. I, I mean, it's full circle, is it not? I think it should. You know, Steve Jobs, you know, helping start Pixel, and then all of a sudden, Pixel. 
Pixar. Uh, Pixar. Sorry. Okay. I was, Sorry. I was pretty sure you're saying Pixar. But... Sorry. Pixel's a phone by Google. Pixar is a you know production company by Disney. With a lamp. With yep. a lamp. Yep. Right. That murders the letter I. It murders <laughs> the letter I. R I P. R I P I. R I P I. Would be R no. lamp P. No. No, because the lamp's not murdering R I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I saw you were going with it. No, right? I saw where I was going. I, like, I was I trying like to it. shut it down. Yeah, yeah. rejected. <laughs> <laughs> so, but no, never a good time to the beach. Mm. Yeah. That's awful. That's unfortunate. But you're a young man. You you got to get back out there and face. Oh yeah, no, I'll be fish. back to the beach many a time to get stung by many more jellyfish. Take jelly a fish. spear the next <laughs> yes. time you yes. go. Yes. And and just yep. start culling those suckers. Like yep. you see, I've some... never been stung. I still bring a spear. That's okay. None of that. Maybe that's right. what I need to do. Yeah. There's a little pocket spear. Pull it out. Yeah. Don't be a town. victim. Go to the beach with a spear. <laughs> right. <laughs> because you won't get stopped by Baywatch at all. Every, everyone right. will appreciate you. Right. You just got to keep so. it in a place where it will be appreciated. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Baywatch, that movie yeah. came out. Yeah. Have oh, you, you seen it? it? Nope. Haven't seen it. It's got Dwayne the Rock. Has Johnson. anybody seen it here? No. no. I, I have. See, I saw Wonder Woman the other day. How was that? How's that? It was really good. Yeah? Really They're finally good. doing something with that series. Yeah, like one of uh, I would say it's the best DC movie to come out uh, I... in this series of movies. Yeah, it's not hard to beat, though. And right, because the others were not. It had good. a lady director, didn't it? It did. It did yeah, have a lady I, director. I, I, so. I think it's like one of the highest editing box office numbers by a woman director, I yeah. believe. Almost I'm, certainly is. I'm yeah. very yeah. excited. So, but you know, Baywatch it's, was good. It was, was funny. It? Yeah. yeah. It looks pretty funny from the previews I've seen. It looks yeah. yeah it, it seemed like a very comical spin on the Baywatch. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. I, all I know, the one thing that, you know, with this whole Baywatch thing, it's getting, you know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson more out there in the forefront. I think him and Tom Hanks are going to run for president in 2020. Oh, yeah. I think, I think Dwayne's going for president, Hanks vice president. Dwayne and Tom versus Kanye West and a chimpanzee. <laughs> 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 I see it happening. <laughs> now, there's going to have to be a uh, little bit of restructuring be... to get that chimpanzee in there. But right. I think Trump's the man to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, I'm sorry. We're not supposed to go political here. Yeah, uh, very tight. Con- it, it's going to be a, oh, man. It's going to be a tight race. <laughs> yep. It's going to be down to a singing competition. Oh. Yeah. It's just, just going to go full force. All right, Hanks. Let's see what you got. It just depends which way Beck, I think. Oh yeah, Beck will have a big influence. In yeah, that. if Beck Absolutely. if Beck goes Kanye, Is that's the, it. The Could you imagine the Glenn debates? Beck? Huh? <laughs> Which Beck are we talking about? The musician. Beck. Okay, good. Yeah, the Beck. The Beck. The Beck. The Beck. The, Beck. the only that one. To be called? Yeah. Okay. We're not talking about Ted Danson. Why would we? <laughs> Is that <laughs> Becker? Because what is this? Nineteen eighty four. No, that's Becker, not yeah, Beck. There's Becker. a difference. Yeah. 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 How do I know that and you don't? Ah, uh, because you watch it and we don't. Yep. I didn't. Uh, okay. Yep. All right. Or maybe you have a subscription to TV Guide, and we don't. Yeah. Mm. Also, is that even a Ted thing? Danza, I, I was thinking Tony Danza. Oh. <laughs> so is TV Guide real anymore? Is it? Is it still a thing? Know, probably. It's, it's probably a website. If it's now. not, oh, okay. a lot of angry older people. Right. Oh yeah, it's definitely still around for at least. Well, I just didn't think years. they had like their own channel anymore. I thought it like changed to Pop or something. I don't know. I think it's something like that. I don't think you have the TV Guide channel anymore. Right. I think they just call that the guide. I'm so old. Yeah. We, we used to get TV Guides. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I remember those. I remember, those. I remember that. Getting TV I did, my guides. grandfather did, though. He yeah. stacks them. Now they put guides. it in the AJC, you know, um, Atlanta John, Journal, you know. Uh, you know what it means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we had to explain other acronyms earlier, so. Or you could just yeah. be like, hey, Siri, what's coming on Fox yeah. later? <laughs> If you will be like, huh? <laughs> if, if your phone is, is Siri, if your phone is going off right now, uh, we do not apologize. Yeah. <laughs> Alexa, <laughs> Alexa, just rate troll us every- five stars. <laughs> okay, Google, I'm just, yeah, just murdering everyone. I right did. Now. I did see. A I really- like that. We need to th- we just tag that at the end of every single one. Just start <laughs> telling people's speakers to rate us five stars. Yes, <laughs> every time. Alexa, buy me a toaster. <laughs> no, 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 don't buy me a toaster. <laughs> toaster is on its way. Like, yeah. Damn it, talkie Son bucks. of a bitch. <laughs> well, at least that's a nice toaster. Yeah. yeah. We bought you the like the highest rated toaster on Amazon. It costs two hundred dollars. Yeah. But it's why? just gonna, it's gonna wind up being a It's got a Wi Fi chip on it. That's why. Does it does it put like smart like, toast to my face? Smart into toast. It? Just no, toast. it's just smart cage. toast. You can toast with your phone. I don't care. You, you just put the bread in there and then let your phone do the rest. Yep. 
That's why it has a Wi-Fi chip. Toast, please. <laughs> I need toast now. Let it takes just, more buttons than it should. Let me just, let me just perfect my toast yes. here. It's got a wheel. Uh, there it is. See, there Toaster should, wheel. There should be like a container above it for you to actually <laughs> put your bread in that just like slowly pushes, like a vending machine style. <laughs> and it just slowly pushes a piece of bread. Yeah. You're on to something. Into the toaster. You're on to I something. Shouldn't, I shouldn't have to get out of my bed to put bread in the toaster. Right? right? Ridiculous. <laughs> What kind of an automatic toaster doesn't automatically put bread yeah. in there to toast? Exactly. Especially if it runs off your phone. Precisely. Oh. I want the bread to come from the grocery store to my toaster yep. without me doing any effort. That's Amazon's goal. <laughs> wow. You know they have a grocery store in Seattle now that you do not have to check out. Yeah, we talked about this on the we show. We did, yeah. yeah okay, you yeah. Just like, you just walk in and walk out? Yeah, that's Take cool. things that you want and they're, they're tracking you the whole time. Yep, no way sure. to steal anything. I yes. feel like somebody's gonna find a way. Robin, somebody's gonna wallet. throw a Faraday cage on something. Like, <laughs> right? Yeah, or just come in like an aluminum foil suit <laughs> and, just start, <laughs> and just start putting stuff in there. Yeah. Like this, this guy's giving me some really weird readings, boss. Right, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. I mean, we are in Seattle, so <laughs> give him some time. He might be a billionaire. I wonder, like, do people work in there? Like, mm -mm. no, no, it's there's all, no one there. No, so it's just like guys stock it at night. I assume. Right, and so. It's, it's so great for introverts. Like, I don't want to see anybody. I won't speak to anybody. Well, I mean, you'll see other customers. Goddamn groceries. <laughs> You'd see other customers. You don't have to talk other to people them. Other people will be there. Well, you don't true. Have to wait around them. Up, yeah. oh, he's getting that can of Campbell's. <laughs> oh, he put it back. Oh, he put here. it back. I'm just going over here. Give him his money back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, see, I yeah, feel like I'd be weird as shit, though. Like, I don't yeah. know. It would be, but I feel like it's an inevitability. And I got to be honest, I would probably love it because I, I remember when. When self checkout first happened, I was like, "That's the laziest bullshit," and I'm gonna make somebody do their job, and I'm gonna go to the the person every time and make them scan my thing. And now I'm like, "Oh but my do god!" You ever? There's a line at the self checkout, yeah. and I just I just can't <laughs> deal with people. And do you, you ever know, choose to go to a regular line. checkout line now? Uh, I have on occasion. Mm -hmm. Usually because the girl is cute. I was about to say, there has to be something involved there. Yeah. I know it's some of the places they actually are pretty good about like when they have a clear register mm. walking to the end and actually right. just kind of like, are you ready? Right. I'll take yeah. you here. Like, but then when you're at Walmart, they're like, no. <laughs> no, I've been Go avoided. away. I've tried like hunting people <laughs> yeah. at Walmart and been like, oh shit, he's looking for a blue jacket. Yep. Like, yep. And they'll, they'll, and they'll turn off their light. I'll see a Run blue away. coat like hanging like, somewhere <laughs> where he took it off and blended in. Excuse me, can't, oh, you are not a person. Yeah, <laughs> huh? Yeah, they will. I'll run. just scan these myself, I guess. Yeah, just scan. Now myself. the new Kroger in this part of town, there is it's a amazing. Yeah, there is a checkout next to the Starbucks, directly there? beside the Starbucks. There is a checkout. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it's a, it's just like a tiny little like two self checkout thing, and it's uh, it's weird. I don't go there because Starbucks sucks. Unless they want to sponsor us, they don't want to sponsor. Hey. Us. They've got the money too. They yeah. do. They could. They we have could, that dangerous. We could, we could I don't put uh, that crazy girl. I'm not sure what what. I think it's a mermaid. Her deal is yeah. I think it's a mermaid. Yeah. Is it a coffee mermaid? It's a yep. coffee mermaid. Huh? Right. Okay, because that's where coffee comes from. The sea. Coffee maid. Yeah. yeah. Who yeah. lives in a coffee under the sea? That yeah. mermaid. <laughs> 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 there was no glad we've had this. There was no rhyme there. It was just yeah, it no, just ended. There, there's no right rhyme there. in the song either. Right. Uh, True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I can't. One, I don't like coffee. Two, I don't like overpriced coffee. Three, I don't so, like mermaids. I don't like mermaids. Three, I don't know how to order there. How would how the, everything? There's a different lingo. It's like you have to learn. A there's different a different lingo. I think nobody yeah. really knows how to order there. They just slowly start to figure out how to say their order shorter, right? And people still understand them. Yeah, like there should they, be a you Duolingo just keep for Starbucks it over and over and over again until the person says, "What was that?" Oh no! <laughs> and then you're like, "Oh, all right. So now I've got it perfect. I'll take a venti mocha." Triple hot. I'm pretty sure in order nailed it. In order to join the the cult of hipster, you have to take a barista class. <laughs> I believe I'm, so. I'm under the impression that, that in course. order to wear suspenders and a long beard, you have to know grande and venti. Oh. Like you have to understand what a frappe. I understand frappe. grande and venti, and right. I know what a frappe is, <laughs> but I don't know like when people order like a white chai. I have no fucking clue what that is. That's yep. racist as shit. <laughs> <It's> racist. <laughs> you know, just because we can do it with genetics 
doesn't mean that you can just go in and order yourself a white chai. Right, yeah. right. I want a white chai. That's not okay. I would like one hot white chai. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't work. Mm-mm. I don't know what that is. You can probably get it on the internet. Like uh, order. much cheaper. Yeah. Chai is actually really tasty, though. I mean, I can. I'll tell my little joke. Don't be gross. I don't know what it is. It's it's a uh, tea, kind of Indian tea. I want to okay. say. I want to say. Is it like that boba tea stuff that everybody? No, no. no. Boba okay. is like bubbles, or so it's like little. It's yeah. it's boba, boba tea is, is tapioca bubbles. Yeah. At the bottom of of this tea, I've also seen a place that's got like a smoothie kind of thing, and that's actually really good. I have a funny yeah. story. Uh, I have no idea what any of this I was better in, be funny. I was in New Mexico for um, spring break, and which so far not if, funny. I, I'm getting there. <laughs> it's a, it's a slow burn. If you if you ever go to New Mexico, do not go to Carlsbad, New Mexico. Okay, it is the worst place in the world. Um, either way, the that's worst. besides. She's the worst in the world. Oh my god, <laughs> so the worst. Um, yeah. Either way, so. I would go to McDonald's and order a sweet tea. Uh-huh. I don't drink it till we get to, you know, back to the whoever's house we were at. And I go to drink it, and it's boba tea. What? McDonald's, McDonald's. in New Mexico gave me boba tea. That was bastard. And it was awful. Are you sure it was boba tea? It, and it was, was boba just, tea. There's gross shit in my No, tea. I had like <laughs> three people confirm that it was boba tea. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, and I did not go back. So don't go to McDonald's. Like, one, don't go to McDonald's anyway because it's fucking gross. Right. Unless they want to be a sponsor. Still gross. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, two, two, don't go to Carlsbad, New Mexico. Apparently don't go to Carlsbad, New Mexico. Don't they have caverns there? Yes, yeah. and they're boring and they're awful. Uh. You see, you can see a picture and it's fine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Very salty <laughs> you know about this Carlsbad, place. New Mexico is like, close your eyes and think about it. That's what it's like. Yeah. You know what the caverns are like? Close your eyes. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Just dark. There you go. You should have brought a light Nailed source. It. <laughs> Everyone there is an oil rigger, and they're all loaded, but there's nothing to do. Mm. Yeah. It's because they're all busy rigging oil. Yeah. Mm. I guess. So, so I'm not going there. No, do not go there. I never really had a, a desire to go to New Mexico anyway. I can't think of anything in New Mexico that sounds really appealing. I was but sort now, of forced. Unless you live there, and then it's fucking great. Right. Um, really don't it's go. amazing. I was sort of forced, but, you know, it's fine. Describe sort of. The, the girl I was with at the time. Okay. Um, nope, you don't have to her, say anything else. Her, her, <laughs> her father lived out there, and she thought we were at the point to where I would, should meet her father. Mm. And then so now it's across the country to do that. Yep, and now it's been maybe two months later, and we're broken up. Oh, like freshly broken up. So, uh, yeah, it's great. The world, eh? So did you, <laughs> the not, world, eh? did you not make a good impression? Oh no, the dad loved me. Oh. Yeah, that's okay. probably what what happened. Oh yep. God. Yep. yep. Really Actually, hoping dad would hate him. Yep. I wa- I wanted a <laughs> rebel. Nope, Dad likes him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> out of the picture, Get him please. out of here. Oh. Get him out of here. Yeah. Um, I do have one more thing to say. A sad thing for those of you who are hip hop fans and like Childish Gambino, he just announced he's releasing his last album. Uh, I think in the fall. He's not gonna be <gasps> doing any more rapping. And that is it. Yeah. He he said it at the Governor's Ball last night. He said he's done after that last album. Hmm. So for those of you niche fans. He's seen, I'm sure he's going to still be doing acting. Though. Oh, no, like he's still going to be doing acting. He's I still, think he's, he's focusing on Atlanta right now. Production. Yeah. He'll probably still be in production. Oh, yeah, no, like he's that. he's still going to be there, but he's, he's not going to be Childish Gambino. He will be Donald Glover. Yeah, he's he's in the new Spider-Man movie. Yep. Not as Spider-Man, no. unfortunately. No. But in his comedy special, playing. though, he talks about Black Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I've seen that. Um, early in one of them in Weirdo. Yeah, Weirdo. Uh, Black uh, Spider-Man. Which was in, like, 2007, yeah. I think. Um, Ten years ago, wow. Holy shit! Was. <laughs> Time flies. That is insane. Yeah, that was. T- I was having the conversation with Dave the other day that ten years ago feels like the nineties. Yeah, I, I still think about the nineties, even I though often, I was only born in ninety seven, so I was three. Yeah, um, I, I by often when someone but, says something like, "Yeah, like ten years ago," I'm like, "Yeah, back in the nineties." Like, no, no, no. yeah, no, two thousand seven. No. Back in the <laughs> not nineties. No, that in the was, aughts. That in was, the aughts. Is that what they call them now? No, the aughts. Nobody calls no them, that. them that. What do no, they call them? The 2000s. What do they call them? Yeah, they the, call them. Uh, the 2000s? The, the yep. double O's. The double O's? Yep. Everybody born. The new millennial. Mi- millennium. The, the new millennium. Yeah. <laughs> the yeah. aluminum. The aluminum. The Illuminati. That's what we're going to start yeah. calling it. Johnny Ive did not say aluminum in, a, in the conference today. Aluminium. Aluminium. Was he supposed to? 
Well, every time they have a conference, you, you have Johnny Ive just in a video, and he talks about aluminum, and he says it in a billion aluminium. different ways. Aluminium. Yeah. Again, aluminium. Talking about. But no, it's it's something that, that, that a lot of Brits do, actually. If you listen, for some reason, they throw an extra <laughs> I in there, well, and they call it aluminium. they actually spell it with an I. No, they don't. Aluminium. Yes, they do. Nope. Because we don't. We you do spell with an I. Up. We do spell with an I. They Not spell there. it with two I's. Yeah. They don't spell it with two I's. They, they, they pronounce do. it with two I's. I right. guarantee you they do. Aluminium. Look it up. Aluminium. No. You have the capability to look it up right in front of you. <sighs> right. No, I just right. say aluminum. Is you that know. what you say? I You're do. a liar. Every time I'm looking <laughs> for aluminum foil, I actually <laughs> said... I call it Reynolds Wrap. That's what I call it. That's that's not the same thing, is it? Reynolds Wrap is aluminum foil. I thought Reynolds Wrap was uh, like saran wrap. It is. They have saran wrap. Reynolds wraps, but... is a company that makes uh, right. foil and wraps. Ah. If you want to sponsor... I'm just throwing out every brand name. You're a great sponsor. Yeah. Please send us all your foil. <laughs> <laughs> we could do like a Pee Wee Herman and thing. Plastic. Remember, he had the giant aluminum foil ball on on Pee Wee Herman. I do, yeah. <laughs> and people that would come over, like guests and stuff, like in they order to get in, they there. had to pay the aluminum foil tax. Yeah. Or, well, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Good that's times. Weird. And don't you know, chew it on it. And no. he also, you know. Uh, did that masturbating in public thing. Allegedly. Yeah. And then uh, did a bunch of movies after that. Yeah, like released it. It, it he's resurged his career. Released a Netflix movie. Did he? Yeah, he has a Netflix movie. Is it a Pee Wee Herman original? Or is yeah. It a, oh, no, okay. it's Pee Wee Herman, and it's a Netflix original. Nice. It's buried, you know, because right now they're focused on Adam Sandler and all his B-list movies. <laughs> Oh, they're just wonderful, aren't they? I mean, I mean, after a certain point. Now, Adam Sandler in his prime, good. But after, like, let's say, Grown Ups one, everything after that. I don't that. think I saw Grown Ups. I didn't. Yeah. You're Grown not missing much. Grown Ups was okay. Now, yeah, the, the, it was okay. the Netflix show, the the Do Over or whatever. That's mm. uh, Adam Sandler, David Spade right. kind of thing. And Is that a show or a movie? It's a movie. Okay. Uh, and it wasn't terrible. I've seen way worse mm. Adam Sandler movies. Right. Uh, uh, Pixels. <laughs> Yeah, I, I I did not see it because I heard it was so terrible. It, Pixels was awful. It was bad. Yeah, I didn't see it. And it was but when like Josh Gad was. It looked funny. Josh Gad was like new at that time to some people, yeah. and uh, that was not the best movie to get him well, that's better us, publicity. It's also got uh, Tyrion Lannister. Yeah, um, who has a real name? Mm-hmm. He does. All he right, sure does. Peter Dinklage. There it is. Yeah, there you go. Is. I knew you'd get there. Yeah. Like, he's running through his Game of Thrones <laughs> and fast forward. I will say this, and all of you can hate me, and I don't care. I've never seen Game of Thrones. I hate you. I You're hate you. the worst person I've ever met. Yep. It's fine. Yeah, Come I've, at me. I've, I think I've seen the first three seasons. I think I've seen the first four. I think I mean, how many were out? Like, the, I think on the, the sixth, maybe? The I, don't sixth. I don't remember. I don't keep up with it. I've he actually just, read the yeah, books. Well, he just said he didn't see yeah. any. Yeah. No, but, which episode are they on? <laughs> yeah, which episode? What time frame? Tell me more. <laughs> now, I read the books, and, the, and the, I think the series does a great job. Uh, yeah, I'm in college and don't have money, so HBO is not my thing. I can't. Yeah. Just steal somebody else's account information like the rest of the world. Or just, <laughs> or just rip it from the internet with yeah. torrents and stuff. Mm-hmm. Only thing I care about on HBO is John Oliver, and he posts his stuff on YouTube, so I'm fine. Thanks, John Oliver. Yep. If You're you want to sponsor best. us, you can do that. Yes. Please do. I'm Great. sure he's trying really hard to We will happily get sponsors. more political if you'll sponsor us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yep, this will become true. a biased show in whichever way you want. You'll <laughs> oh, give yeah. us some money. The entire new season of John Oliver's show has been about Trump. Every single episode. There has not been one without it. That's not surprising, actually. Mm-hmm. I'll get dual no. citizenship if I have to. Does he have dual citizenship? I don't. <laughs> or is he just like visiting? I think he has dual citizenship. I would assume. I don't know. I don't know. I dual citizenship like, like Craig Ferguson did and uh, yeah. Jim Carrey. I miss, I miss Craig Ferguson on Late Night. Oh, he was fantastic. His he was, was the best. Yeah. I, I actually watch a lot of his stuff on YouTube, like yeah. from, from that show. He was real cheeky. He really was. Oh, yeah. Real but, cheeky. But I'm I mean, sure he still is. It, in the <laughs> faction of how late night is now, and it's just Jimmy Fallon and Stephen Colbert. Jimmy Fallon has a few funny things now, that he does. Uh, I, I love Stephen Colbert. I, you can't. I, oh, like, no. I love Stephen Colbert. I have some I of James Corden stuff. James Corden's good. Um, He's, I don't know, he's just getting a little too. They're all it, getting it, too it, short clippy. It's all about short clips that yep. they can put on YouTube the yeah. next morning. Exactly. And but, it's but, not late but, night anymore. I mean, and let's face it, nobody, nobody watches Carson Daly. Right. Does he still have a show? Thank you. Thank you. Is that MTV? 
or something. Yep. Yo, MTV rap. <laughs> oh, I saw. Um, well, I didn't see it, but uh, it's when VJs were a thing, guys. What? Ludacris is uh, hosting MTV's Fear Factor. Yeah, yes, I heard about it's that. It's back. And be prepared. No. 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 Funny story. So I didn't watch like it the sponsors. first time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Probably not gonna watch it this time. You now you Rogan? had Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan was the top. Because I remember. Imagine when, him when, saying something snarky to you while you're scarfing down some bull test. I mean, That's really. <laughs> when Fear Factor first started, it was Fear Factor, and it was actually really good. And then it became like Gross Factor. Gross a thon. Right. And I was like, "This is stupid." Yeah. Like you know what? I'm we not, got a really good reaction. We made him eat balls. <laughs> Let's keep doing it this yep. time. All crickets. Yeah, the I'm not going to do crickets, live like, crickets. Balls stuffed with crickets. Yeah. yeah. Mm. I wouldn't. I wouldn't deny to do something be- like like that D- because I'm scared of it. It's because it's gross and I don't want to. Right. Yeah. Like now, it's under like, it's not a fear issue. It's it's a gag reflex. Right. Kind of. Like how do yeah. you stop your? You know, like I will. Well, I, I'll face down flamethrowers and shit, but <laughs> yeah, I, right. I can't keep this rotten egg in my stomach. I'm disqualified. It's not, yeah. it's not because I'm afraid of it. Yeah. It's because right. it's fucking gross. <laughs> <laughs> my body is telling me you can't have this, and more than just telling me I can't have it, it is not allowing <laughs> yeah, me to just have it. Injecting it. Yeah. It said, no, sir. <laughs> yes. I will not eat this rotten egg. Uh, now, underrated show by a comedian about fear, Scare Tactics. On sci-fi. Who's, Who's the comedian in, in that? Tracy Morgan. He hosted the show. Oh, he did for a while. I remember, um, who's, damn it. Uh, <laughs> there was, someone else hosted that show at one point. It was the woman who keeps keeps getting kicked off of. Shannon uh, Doherty. Yeah, she keeps getting kicked oh, yeah. off of all of uh, Aaron Spelling stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, I hope our audience knows who most of these people are. Aaron yeah. Spelling is the producer of 90210. Yeah. Yes. With, and he kicked off uh, Shannon Doherty. And he's a nepotist. And then, and then he then he made the show uh, Charmed uh-huh. and had Shannon Doherty on and kicked her off again because <laughs> she's a bitch. Well, you know what? I don't like the the cut of your jib. But for or some maybe reason, it's just he your can't eyes. Seem to get other actors and actresses. Yeah. Maybe I mean, she's did. just there Charmed, going, Charmed I'll try again. For a long time. She just keeps yeah. trying. Whatever happened to Tori? Uh, she kept being unattractive and Oof. still uh, still made movies. Somehow. And just working real hard on staying unattractive. <laughs> right. I think Scary Movie Two is what happened to her. Oh, really? Mm. Tori, give me a last name. Spelling. Oh, Aaron Spelling's daughter. Okay, uh, yeah, he got Spelling. famous because he put her in his show. Right. Yeah. Okay. I know two one oh. That's the theme song. <laughs> That's oh, the theme song for that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you watched it. But. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, we got it's, it. It's getting to the point where I'm starting to lose references and feel. Well, oh, it's because we're old. Yeah, had you not been <laughs> so born sorry, in guys. 1997, you might yeah. understand some of these things. <sighs> it's difficult. Mm. I'll be but 20 we're... this year. I will not be a teenager anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Thank... <laughs> Good for you. I know. I'm excited. <laughs> Good for you. Good for me. <laughs> I'm a thousand. Yep. <laughs> At a minimum. Yeah. Jason was, aluminum. Jason was born uh, a poor black man <laughs> poor black back in the former. prehistoric ages. Yes. And by prehistoric, right. I mean before history. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, BH, not BC, y'all. Right. Like, I was the first sure. first person to ever and grow BH a BH is he. He <laughs> yeah. sure is a BH. <laughs> 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 I don't, I don't get it. That's fine. BH. Right. So, uh, we're coming to Butt the end hole. of the show. Oh. We got like two oh, minutes I left. A little too. Well, let's talk about. Uh, <laughs> um... Cool. So, uh, Justin, what'd you learn on the show tonight? What did I learn on the show? I learned that as much as I like shopping from Amazon, mm-hmm. working for them would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> we have a different opinion on fun. <laughs> you took a different lesson. <laughs> yeah. I learned. Yeah. That Joey's idea of the worst. <laughs> Things and my idea of the worst things <laughs> are not comparative at all. Right. So getting stung by a jellyfish is not your worst thing. No. Working at Amazon, not the worst job. Right. Carlsbad, New Mexico, not the worst place. Right. <laughs> like I've been to worse places, worked worse jobs, and have been fucked up harder by worse things. <laughs> I, I think we can all agree, though, that the worst person. Is Jason? Yeah, still Jason. Yeah, yeah that, all okay. that's, that's, yeah. that's all the way that's around. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Democracy. <laughs> She's the worst in the world. Or so, what is. did you learn, Joey? I learned that my opinions obviously are not strong enough. 
Well, but According you're going to you. work on that. Right, yeah. right, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. Work on that. Bring it back next time. See what happens. Right. I what learned it. Yeah. yeah. What Dave. about you, uh, Dave? I learned that the CEO of uh, Apple is someone whose name I can't remember. Cook. Tim Cook. Tim, Tim Cook. Cook. Yeah, there it is. And then the, uh, there was another couple people you named that I still didn't know. Jobs. Jeff Bezos. Yep, Jeff Bezos. Yeah, who's that again? Uh, CEO, CEO of Amazon. Amazon. Founder. Oh. And also, um, oh, Washington Post or is it New York Times? He owns a paper. And well, apparently there's some paper. group of nerds that think mispronouncing the word aluminum in a whole bunch of different <laughs> ways is funny. It gets me every time. <laughs> aluminum. <I don't> know. <laughs> oh, that guy. Oh, right. Jason, you're Jason. Yeah, well, I mean, if you've got stick that works, <laughs> yeah. stick with it. Stick with it. We stick, you want to be a sponsor? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. Asshole. I'm so sorry. That's everybody. it. Have a great yeah. night, everybody. Have a good <laughs> night. Just erase that last part. <laughs>